We'll take that, won't we? Good enough for going to the seaside. I think Maybe so. Sending Maybe back dressed a like, like this, this is Quill Bill Turnbull looking gorgeous there, <laughs> looking a little bit officious. Yes, this mm. was the card that um, Richard it? Westcott sent us when he had a day out by the sea. Research, though, suggesting now more and more British holiday makers would rather use their internet phones to wish that we were there with them. <laughs> Does Instead this mean put it cards. away, put it away? <laughs> Does it mean the humble postcard has had its day? We asked people in Bangor and uh, Trafalgar Square how they sent their holiday messages. Here's what they had to say. If you asked my sister this question, she'd be Facebooking it the whole time, saying what a great time she was having and posting photos, but now I like the postcard. Not everybody's on Facebook, are they? And um, you can keep a postcard, you can put it on your fridge or do something with it. So much easier. And you know the other people are going to get it, whereas postcards, sometimes they don't make it, do they? For the old-fashioned way. So I think people appreciate it a little bit more handwritten than just an email. You've got to buy stamps for them, you've got to find a pen and write it, you know. If you've got your laptop with you in your Wi-Fi area, you can just lift it up. I was sending postcards to show that I'm having a good time. You can put a bit more into Facebook, and you can put your own photos on as well. It's a bit more personal. I send a postcard uh, because I like it better. It's more, more uh, personal. I update my Facebook page because I'm cycling right round Britain, and I put my photographs onto Facebook every night. I buy them for the scenic views wherever I am and save them for myself, but I don't send them. Postcards are quite uh, sort of last century, really. No, nobody, surely no one's used postcards anymore, do they? Well, <laughs> some people do. Very uh, last century, really. Yes, with us now, historian and postcard collector Rachel McDonald and social media expert Paul Armstrong. Good morning Hello. to you both. Well, Rachel, first of all, you very kindly brought in some postcards. Some of these not last century, century before last, possibly. I don't know, are they? Mm. No, last century, about a okay. hundred years old. Most All right, of them. this one. How old is this one then? That's 1920. Someone on holiday in La Havre saying they weren't seasick on the boat. Okay, oh, okay, so we are. You've got about sort of two, three thousand of these. Yes. Where did the postcards start? Who first started? I sending got them? one from 1897. Mm. Have you really? But they had hand drawings on their not lovely views. The views didn't start till about 1902. Ah, so it's just a piece of card that someone drew on and then wrote on the back about yes. their experience. Yes. Do yes. you still send them? Yes, yes. Um, there are thousands being sent from London every day, but mostly by foreign tourists, and I'm sure we all do the same when we're abroad. We don't use them much, as much for local use now, sadly. Mm -hmm. But that's what, you know, the local ones were very important then. Ah. Mm -hmm. People didn't have telephones, and they didn't have cameras to record their own area. So they would send a picture saying, this is our house or this is our street mm -hmm. yeah. and they'd only be sending it perhaps a couple of miles. Mm. Yeah. Paul, it's rather been overtaken by technology, hasn't it really, the postcard? Yeah, I think we're seeing a shift in how people are using these technologies to uh, get benefits out of them. Um, the research that we're doing at um, Mindshare is really sort of intrinsic, how people are changing their behaviours because of technologies. Um, so we're seeing people use their smartphones a lot um, more when they're on holiday, despite data charges across. We're seeing them use them much more richly. It's rather sad though, isn't it? To I see think the demise it's got... of the postcard because people are using the smartphones? Well, it's interesting you say demise because we're seeing that technology is being used in a different way now. So, for example, you can use the camera to take a photo, but then upload it to a service like um, Touch Notes or um, SendMeAPostcard.com, and they'll actually then create that physical postcard and then send it to your friends that way. But so you're it not depends on how you do it. I mean, but what's nice is to see people's handwriting, mm. isn't it? I, I think that there is always um, an element of loss with things like that, but I think um, you could also argue that the social media um, platforms that people are using, like Facebook, yeah. they can give a much re uh, richer detail because you've only got a finite amount of space on a postcard. The trouble with sending a postcard these days is that you'll get home before the postcard does, whereas in the <laughs> old days, they had, there were so many postal deliveries. Absolutely. There's a difference, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, have you got one there to illustrate? I did have. Yeah. Uh, tell us what it is. <laughs> tell us about, about uh, A young lady posting clearly at 4.30 p.m. Mm. Uh, from Wood Green a card to Rotherhouse saying, Mum, I'll be home by 10 o'clock this evening. And that got there? It would have done. And another one asking someone to visit them next day before 10 a.m. because they were going out. So how many postal deliveries were there a day then? About six, seven, eight in some areas. I mean, even I, not that ancient, remember di uh, writing to Patrick Moore one night at 8.30 as a child. He must have got it next day. He immediately typed a little postcard and I had it the next day from him. I mean, that was, that was routine. You didn't need email in those days because no, you had enough postal no, deliveries wonderful. anyway. It was yeah. wonderful. All right. Well, thank you both thank very you much both. indeed. Fascinating. Thanks very much for bringing your cards you. in. Which is the, the oldest one you have is how old? 1897. Wow, fantastic. Wow. All right. Thank you both. Thank you. Thank you.